Hi, third graders. Welcome to your second reading lesson for the week about identifying important ideas. There we go. Identifying important ideas. So in the first lesson, we read from the book Lifetimes, and um, we read about army ants. I'm have you stop and think for just a moment. Think to yourself, what do you remember learning about So I wonder, I kind of bet um, that you remembered, one of the things that you remember is that army ants work together to do some pretty amazing things. Um, how many of you remembered that about army ants? Okay, so um, one of the reasons that you might remember that is because we decided that that was the most important idea from that page about army ants. So when you stop and think about what the most important idea is about what you're reading, that helps cement it in your brain. It really helps you remember the key pieces of what you're reading. It's such an important part of understanding and thinking deeply about what you read. So we're gonna keep practicing that today um, this time we're going to read a page about elephants. So I would like you to stop and think for a moment. What do you think you know about elephants? <laughs> You're a show in the background, sorry about that. Um, so I was thinking what I think I know about elephants. I've done, I did an animal report on them before. And I think what I remember is that um, they can show their feelings to each other. Like I remember that they can kind of show that they love each other and that they care about each other. And I just thought that was super cool. I wonder what else you remember about elephants. All right, so I'm gonna read the page about elephants. I'm gonna read it twice, just like last time. So the first time I read it, just listen for what you can learn about elephants. And then I'll give you directions about what to think about when I read it the second time. Oh, I'm gonna to have to zoom in here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. A lifetime for an elephant is about 65 years. Elephants have feelings much like those you have. They make loud, joyful trumpeting sounds when they meet each when they meet other elephants. That's kind of what I said I remembered about them. Um, they make loud, joyful trumpeting sounds when they meet other elephants. They care for other elephants that are sick or injured. If a baby or friend dies, they show their sadness by refusing to eat or by moaning and crying. Elephants are among the few animals that weep tears when they are very, very sad. Although elephants are the largest animals on land, they don't kill or bother other animals. When ponds and streams dry up, elephants use their trunks to dig down to water. When they finish drinking, they let other animals drink. Without water, these animals would die. Elephants remind us to be kind and gentle especially to those who are not as big or smart as we are. Okay, what did you learn about elephants on that page? What are some things you learned about elephants on that page? Stop and think for a minute. Okay, so I was thinking about that also, and I already knew the elephants show emotion, but I remembered it in more detail from that page. And something else that I learned is that elephants can cry tears. And I also learned that elephants take care of other animals. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna read it a second time. This time, as I read it, please try to think about what do you think? most important thing to understand and remember on this page that I'm about to read. In other words, if you had to say what the passage was about in one sentence, what would you say? So think about that as I reread the page. 
A lifetime for an elephant is about 65 years. Elephants have feelings much like those you have. They make loud, joyful trumpeting sounds when they meet other elephants. They care for other elephants that are sick or injured. If a baby or friend dies, they show their sadness by refusing to eat or by moaning and crying. Elephants are among the few animals that weep tears when they are very, very sad. Although elephants are the largest animals on land, they don't kill or bother other animals. When ponds and streams dry up, elephants use their trunks to dig down to water. When they finish drinking, they let other animals drink. Without water, these animals would die. Elephants remind us to be kind and gentle, especially to those who are not as big or smart as we are. Okay, so let's go back to this question that I asked when I started reading this page the second time. What do you think the most important, what do you think is most important to understand and remember on that page? Confirm it to yourself. And why do you think that? And then also, if you had to say what the passage is about in one sentence, what would you say? Think that to yourself and then just try saying it out loud. And why do you think that? That means my cookies are ready. Okay, so I was thinking, um, if I had to say what that page was about in one sentence, I think I would say that it's about how elephants take care of each other and of other animals. And the reason I think that's such an important thing to remember is because there are so many examples of elephants taking care of each other or of other animals, like how they care for other elephants that are sick or injured. They show sadness if a baby or a friend dies. Um, they don't kill or bother other animals. They um, let other animals drink when it's hard to find water and they find water, they share their water with other animals. So that's why I feel like the most important idea from this page is that elephants take care of each other and other animals. You might have thought something different and that's okay as long as you have some strong reasons to support your idea of what you think is the most important idea. Okay, so that's the end of our practice, our second practice of identifying important ideas, such an important skill when you read. I encourage you when you do IDR today to stop every once in a while and think to yourself, what is the most important idea to remember from what I just read? Or if I had to say in just one sentence what the part I just read is about, what might I say? It helps you, really, really helps you understand and remember and enjoy what you're reading. Tomorrow there will be one more reading video. And in that video, I'm going to read one of these pages to you again. And then I'm going to ask you to write down for me what you think is the most important idea on that page and send it in to me. So please join me tomorrow so we can do that together. Thank you. See you later.